Hey, you did it. You're here. Welcome to the Growers Hangout with Aaron and Marky. Sit down. Let's roll one. Light it up. Let's go. Yo, welcome to the uh, the special roundtable for... Uh, for Chicago Canna Company and Bob's Exotics Glass Shop. Uh, I'm Aaron. Uh, I'm here pretty much as always with Marky Love of Love Green Culture. Hey, everybody. How's it going? I've got uh, Charlie of Chicago Canna Company, DeKalb. What's up, everybody? Everybody knows him. And uh, the infamous Bob from Bob's Exotics. What's up, guys? Hey, how are you? How's it going? What's going We're on? Doing well. Good to see you yeah, guys again. Me too. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thanks for being on. Yeah, for sure. So, uh, how's everybody doing? Bob, you're going to want to pull this a little bit closer. Lean into it just a little bit more so everybody can hear you. It's all good. Everybody's new at can this. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. Everybody's new at this. So, like, you know, you just got to go through it. It's fine. You're awesome. So, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Everything's good? I'm doing good. We're doing sitting, good. We're sitting upstairs at Bob's Exotics Glass Shop, yep. which is super nice. Look at this TV's on the wall. He's got a nice bar here that he's... Uh, got with some like nice shelves it's looking really good man yeah it's clean Thanks, sharp. Man. i appreciate it yeah, yeah we put a lot of work into it yeah yeah and this is the upstairs of chicago canna company yep right and yes sir so tell us about it charlie well we're located here in dekelb right off of peace road yep. uh just a little north of uh i-88 yep uh let me see 650 north, north peace road peace unit road. e yep yep um you know we're out here doing our thing uh we got the little beans uh, farmers market out back that yes. we're gonna have the fifteenth. Super excited about that. Yep, yep. Downstairs is Chicago Canna, the garden store. Yep. Uh, upstairs we got Bob Exotic Glass Shop. Yeah, yeah. This is really cool, man. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the event. Um, obviously, uh, you know, there's lots of things happening. Uh, you know, we're looking forward to doing another roundtable there, uh, live podcast. Obviously. Yep. Uh, you know uh it, that's the most fun for us yeah last it one really was a good is. time it was a good yeah, time it really was yeah marky had fun that was marky's debut on the on the mic yeah yeah you did great thank you i appreciate we, it we have, we have a lot of dope people to support out here you know what i mean yeah so, i like talking to them all they're all great people yeah i agree uh i think it's really important that somebody highlights all the cool things that people are doing because it doesn't get talked about it doesn't get reported on because nobody knows so. yeah you guys are good at it i've been listening Thank you. Naturals. I appreciate that. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, we just, uh, we'll have a, a video coming out soon. But uh, let's talk about you. So uh, let's talk about partnerships. So you've partnered here with Bob's, Bob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first partnership was actually with Chicago Canna. So, okay. uh, you know, I used to be out in St. Charles, used to do my thing out there. Um, started up the uh, Little Bean Smoke Shop, which mm -hmm. is now pretty much a Little Bean Smoke Shop is getting dissolved into Bob Exotics, more right. or less. Bob's taking that over. Yep. Um, still going to be in St. Charles, but it's pretty much going to be the Little Beans Farmer's Market in yeah. St. Charles. Uh, we're going to be teaming up with people like you guys. Yep. Uh, and then out here, it's going to be, um, you know, the Farmer's Market's teaming up with Chicago Canna, Bob Exotics. And we're kind of doing our thing out here. You know, it's a collaboration. So, so you've got a, uh, you've got a home grow store downstairs. Yep, uh, Chicago Canna. Yep, Chicago Canna. So that's, uh, I mean, it's not just for Canna. You could grow tomatoes or, or herbs yep. or anything. It's by Canna, I, I assume that to mean like, you know, indoor gardening. So you've yes. got everything down there. You've got earth yeah, boxes. It's your you've basic, got build it's, the soil. You've got green grow. You've got, you know. Yeah, well, we don't have a whole lot yet, but we're going to get a whole lot more. There. Yeah, yeah. you've, got, you've yep. got all the basics that somebody needs to start growing yeah. indoors. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, got a little bit of the AC Infinity stuff. Got AC some Infinity. kits. Yeah, you know, there's some crop culture stuff down there too. If you're interested yep. in a crop culture box, you can come to Chicago Canna Company and get All one. right. Shout out to Chris, our friend. Yeah. Yeah. He's a good guy. He's a great guy. And, and then you have this big field out here and we're going to do, you're going to do yeah, events and, out there. Yeah, and Chris will be one of our vendors yeah. out there. Uh, we got Bob out there. We've got yeah. a whole lot of people. Northern Illinois. I know you guys have worked with them. Yeah, Northern Illinois. Yes. Um, yeah, you know, and that's kind of what we do here is we kind of build up a community. And that's what's nice about the farmer's market. You you have been good at building up communities. Well, I, I appreciate be, that. I want to be uh, the person you. to say that. You yeah, know? you've do, you've been instrumental. Uh, you know, we were talking with uh, Ryan from Aurora Cannabis Club the other night. He's another one who's been instrumental in enabling the community and uh, 
uh, you and Rochelle uh, have also enabled this community so much. We were, uh, I think I told Marky I was calling you the uh, mom and dad. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that's that's mom and dad. You know what I mean? You're you're not in charge of all of it, I, but like your mom and dad, because yeah, like you've I been there, that. like that's nice. It, no, I take know? that I as a compliment. Was, I thought it was yeah. a nice. I wish she was well. here with us right now. She's uh she's actually probably driving right now on her way home from her other job. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and you know what it is, um, I like that you said that because all this, this community and, and these events and everything, it's like our baby. Yeah. It means a lot to us. We've nurtured it. Uh, we've put everything we've had into it. Uh, it's been quite a journey over the last couple of years. Um, <laughs> Isn't it always though? Yeah. You know, especially when you- Anything worth doing is. Especially when something's new and it's very kind of um, on the edge of like people accepting it, yeah. not accepting yeah. it. And like- you know, it, it's been challenging, but um, it's been fun. We've made lots of friends along the way. Yeah. Um, and uh, and 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 all of us are are really starting to collaborate together and yeah. starting to do well, new things, and it's spawning all these things. That's why you're the mom and dad, because like you've in a way en enabled this home growers community to come together and meet each other and start collaborating. I mean, I never would have met Bob if it wasn't for the outdoor farmers market. Yeah. I never would have met Marky if it wasn't for the other yep. grow store yep and it's, it's you know? nice to watch because it's just like watching your kids grow yeah. now i'm watching you guys yeah outside of the market do right. things without me and it's kind of nice because uh you know i'm kind of taking a back seat on things um you know some of the things bob's gonna be doing are things that i would have been doing mm -hmm. but now i don't have to no more right which is nice i got a team of people to kind of help out exactly i'll take a back seat on some things and other things i'll take the lead you well, know? I, th I, th I think there's there's better things for you to focus on i think uh yep I think the smaller your focus, the better you can, yeah. you can, you can pay more attention to the growth. Well, yep. And, yep. And, the growth, my family. Make, yeah. <laughs> After the last couple of years, a little time with my family, I'll be honest. I got I got to put some time in there. Well, yeah, uh, we've but had yeah it'd discussion. be nice to focus on some other things. I actually said that on my other podcast the other day, I was talking about when you guys were open and I said, don't bother Charlie on Mondays. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, or after seven o'clock. Well, yeah, or after seven o'clock. But that's fine. You should have those priorities, and, and you yeah, and you know, well, have. yeah, because before I didn't really have boundaries, and um, you know, some you know sometimes there's a place for that kind of stuff where you're really trying to build something, you go all at it, and then other times it's like you know, take it easy. You have to you have to do all that to 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 yeah. remind yourself of what's important. Yes, and well, because I'm passionate about a lot of things, and yeah. I, you know, I get I get very um obsessed yeah and i definitely got obsessed and carried away with some things and but i'm passionate about my family too uh you know but i love my community my community yeah. is my family and and um you know i gotta make sure i i they're they're together as one but they're separate you know i gotta actually uh make sure i make time for the family so that's i mean it's definitely one. doing that now if, if you if it doesn't make you happy it's it's not yeah. worth it and really. i got a great family they're they're very supportive of uh what we do here yeah you know yeah. you see them out at the events yeah which I, is what the events are about being family friendly i think i met like three of your kids yep three of yeah, the five uh, yeah three i got an five. army yeah i know <laughs> yeah you, you got an army of gardeners out yep. there you better get them yeah they're, and they're all big you know they're they're all taller than me which that's <laughs> not hard to do i guess <laughs> yeah it's fine it's fine yeah so that's cool, man. So uh, you got this awesome spot. Yep. Uh, you're partnered up with Bob and Chicago Canna Company. Uh, special events at the outdoor. What do we got going on? This, um, this is the last one of the year. Let's talk about last it one. Quick. Well, you know, we'll say it's the last one outside of, the, of this year. year. Yeah, yeah. This Not is saying last... that there's for sure anything else going on, but we'll see what's in the works. This, but, is, um, this is the last outdoor. Yes. As usual, we're going to have our Stoner Olympics, yep. which is a 420 friendly event um, sponsored here this time by Marky Love, Love yep. Free Culture. Absolutely. Um, Shout outs. I yeah. smelled it. It smells good. Yeah. He smoked it today. Put him out. Yeah. hard it was nice it was nice i hope i hope i bring you guys some nice flavors oh you'll do us right yeah i know you yeah yep. so we so, appreciate it so you got the stoner olympics what else is going on um let's see i think uh bob you got anything going on well <clears throat> yeah bob 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 and i were talking the other day about that i know bob's got some plans that was also what i was leading into yeah you know i, I don't want to put you on the spot but i don't know what else we have i mean we got the normal no, market cool. stuff going on um so yeah like on the 14th the night before I'm just going to do like an official opening of my glass shop. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping to be fully stocked by then. Have some nice um, solutions for, you know, all your consumption needs. Yeah. And uh, other than that, on the 15th, we'll be popping up like usual. 
Yep. We'll have the usual mm-hmm. festivities. The, you know, the usual Bob's Exotics. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good vibes only. Yep. Um, 21 and over. Yeah. Um, and then, no, I mean, just running the shop, like, that's just a project yes. in itself. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it was kind of a natural, organic partnership, yeah. you know, kind of to circle back to, like, the whole passion portion. Yeah. Um, I think Charlie and I both have, like, a lot of passion for the plant, which mm-hmm. is kind of... Uh, it's, it's like it's centered around everything yeah. that uh, is kind of a driving force in, in what we do. Well, I mean, uh, Marky and I talk about it all the time about uh, doing things with people who are doing it for the right reasons. And that's, I think that's what you're talking about is that, you know, working with people who are doing it for the right reasons is the key. right reasons and yeah. puts the work. In. And um, yeah. that's, you know, that's what we're looking to do with the glass shop, similar to cannabis. You know, there's a lot of cannabis in the world, there's a lot of glass in the world. Yeah. But very you know a very slim portion of it i feel like is uh good or useful however you want to look at it yeah either on the cannabis or the glass side like how often do you walk into a glass shop and it has 360 display cases everywhere but you don't really know what you need and oftentimes you walk out with something that isn't functioning the way that you need it right so i'm looking to kind of hit that market and uh just supply a solution for people that need it i'm not going to have a lot of import glass. I'm just going to have like the essentials of what you need. To yeah. Get going. yeah. Yeah. More like a uh, convenience store, less like a, oh, I got to go buy $20,000 heady glass at this spot. Well, we'll have I some mean, headies. Have that it's going to be but... more like an educational, okay. a place to get education and figure out how things work. I don't mean convenience like, in that um, like for bad. Instance, I mean like it's very easy and all the essentials are right there. Yeah. It's going to yeah, be a one-stop can of shop I mean. for sure. Yeah. Um, but like, for instance, do you, do you know how like a slurper works? Yeah. 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 From the bottom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So like, um, a lot of people haven't used these tools. Right. So like a lot of people are familiar with like a banger or like mm-hmm. a carp cap, but like, you know, people need just a little bit of extra help. Yep. Um, so I'm just here to provide that. That's awesome. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, I, th- I think that's, uh, I've, I've done a lot of advocacy for, uh, vaping as a smoking cessation in the past. Um, vaping helped me stop smoking. And um, I think there's a lot of really interesting things with concentrates that you can do. I think it's probably better to consume that way uh, rather than like a harsh smoke most of the time. So I think uh, that education is actually really important for people. Uh, Plus, you know, it's more concentrated and you can, uh, it gets delivered faster so you can take off faster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. Because I mean, you know, whether you use it for, you know, altering your, your mind state or, or it's a medical thing, you know, you want to get it quick, right? I definitely like both. <laughs> it's yeah. a different yeah. experience. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I got to have both. Yeah. Like if I have too much, uh, too much concentrate and then I feel like a little bit too anxious and yeah. I got to calm shit down with, uh, oops. Well, and you just, no, it's okay. Oh, you can, okay. You can okay, square. Cool. Yeah, I got to calm shit down it's with some flowers. It's on YouTube you know? or Facebook yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's yeah, not... tone it down with some flowers. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, just like right before you sat down, that you said you had to get that entourage. Yeah, yeah, yeah entourage exactly. effect. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's good. I'm not. I'm not talking bad. I'm just saying I think the education is important because there's a lot of stuff out there that you can do with concentrates, and I it's agree. very confusing. I so agree. have like the basic stuff there, like the basic and the like. Hey, you can just do this out of a titanium banger if you want. We can get the slurper and really taste it. We can get the the balls or the color changing sand or you know the yeah, IR stuff. It's all cool, and that's what we're about, man. It's yeah, like, it's harm reduction, right? Yep. It's like you know, at the end of the day, a lot of it is anecdotal or you know, bro science, however you want to look at it. But it is harm reduction. You yeah, know? if you see somebody going in on a red hot banger. Slow down and educate that person. Yeah, yeah spicy. Or, or if, yeah. if you yeah. see somebody dabbing on a Chaz banger that they've been using for two years, like, <laughs> you're educate that person. Yeah. You're, you're brand new to and brand. And that's hash what you're going to get yeah, here yeah. From, from the second you walk in that door, the first floor to second floor, we're going to take you from seed to stone, and we're going to hold your hand and educate you. And, of course, if you've already been there and you've done that, you don't need us for that, but we're just still here for a good time. And then we'll have high-functioning high quality Quality materials to yeah. point, you, point you in the right direction. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whether it be on the grow side or, you know. The... Yeah. yeah. One-stop I... shop. One-stop shop. Yeah. I swear we're open. That's a clerk's reference. It's okay. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, in, I'm just stoned and I got you. making it by myself, but it's okay. No. Um, dude, this, this place is so awesome. So uh, We're just getting started. I know. So let's talk about your future plans. Um, so what do you got planned here? Because you, I know. 
in talking to you uh, a couple times a week or once a week, you've always got stuff going on. So s- let's let the people know. Yeah, you what know, can we let the people know what's going on here? What well, I'm not going to let everyone know too much just yet. But with that being but, said, um, I want to put one foot in front of the other here first. So, I mean, I don't know. Some things with me haven't changed. Like nothing. This is why we need you here, Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you. <laughs> uh, truth, no, I'm, truth. I think like one thing you guys can count on is that you know, we'll keep pushing forward, you know, mm-hmm. any, yeah. you know, if we encounter an obstacle, we're just going to work around it. Whether yeah. it be, you know, a zoning issue, a county issue mm-hmm. for popping up our events, we'll just, you know, figure Which it out. We have been very welcomed here so far. That's awesome. It, 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 yes. It has been pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So, so what do you got, what do you got planned for here? We're going to, you're going to okay, expand so the shop. We're going to expand the shop. Bro, is gonna bro, continue bro, to expand. We'll grow, you know, at yeah. a decent rate, hopefully. Um, you know, I get here early every day, so I put the grind in. So we'll see how it is. Uh, expand the shop. Hopefully by next uh, April, it's to really grow the um, the community. Okay. That's what this is really about. I mean, I love the grow store because at a, at the heart, I'm a grower. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm also, look, I'm just, uh, I'm an activist like the rest of us. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm here to help grow the community, help uh, grow the love of the plant. This um, is such a great area too, to help yes. with, with all the farmers. Um, there's lots of organic type people down here as well. You have a young yeah. crowd because of the college. I mean, it's just yeah. So I'm yeah. excited. So, I'm excited for yeah, this new space because the, the big plan is for probably the future. What I'm doing is probably to go into next year's events, probably with four major events only. Okay. Out here in DeKalb, and uh, hopefully actually bring concerts. Yeah, that's the plan. Bring some concerts and bring some more fun to the table. Have you thought about doing something with the corn boil down here too? That'd be cool. Uh, I, you Isn't know, that the corn boil down here. Corn fest. Yeah, corn, corn fest. fest right? yeah. yeah. I don't know if Decal would give up corn fest, but I'm not saying yeah. give up corn fest. I'm saying you guys should like do something with that. Yeah, yeah. we could totally to pop it. up. Yeah. Like, we could, we can figure yeah. out a vending space or something along those lines. Yeah. Are we gonna have plan words corn fest? <laughs> I'm looking at Bob. He knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, little, Bob. Little Bob Fest over here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> right around the same time at Bob Fest. Um, yeah. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got 10 acres in the back. That's so awesome. A lot of space to play around with. And, um, you There's know, a- along with all the growing community and yeah. everything, we, uh, we like to have a good time. So yeah. It's, it's great to be able to, uh, have found something that, you know, a lot of my passions intertwine with working with people, mm-hmm. the plant, uh, consumption, yeah. events, event planning, just yeah. being creative in general. Like, you know, just working with the plant, I think uh, that's one of the most beautiful things about it is seeing You're a cultivator. how it affords people the ability to be creative in a space, mm-hmm. whether it be, you know, cultivating, graphic design, yeah. painting, running a store, like yeah. whatever, wherever we fit in. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's really important to support dope people and, uh, you know, watching you guys do stuff and, and meeting lots of people to the community was the inspiration for that idea. It was just like lightning in a bottle and I just grabbed it because the universe said, Hey, this is what you got to do because that's what people are doing. It's, it's so weird because, uh, on this journey, that's kind of how it's been for me. Yeah. Like one thing after another, like it just couldn't have like been circumstance it's like all happened for a reason exactly it's been a hell of a ride too yeah i i tell people but it's been great we're, we're just we're just out here being the voice for the people you know yeah. what i mean it's like the people collectively demand a voice and we're just trying to be that for them yeah you know what i mean and, and but so many people have like yeah. you know rised up in this in this last couple of years in this yeah. community I crop agree. culture uh, you guys go support dope people. Uh, Bob, yeah, love green culture. Yeah, uh, like no dibbles. Yeah, no yeah, dibbles. Yeah, and it's uh, it's been fun watching all this happen. Yeah. yeah, I remember the little little outdoor ones, the rainy ones when there was very barely anybody there, and then you know the last the last four can't find crazy. a place to park. Yeah, no place. Oh, no to more park. parking issues. Yeah, no kid. I've got a lot of parking. I like space. seeing the entrepreneurial spirit. Yeah, like uh. This lady popped up once and she didn't do well. I think she, you know, I remember her saying a few, a few things about how she felt about the day and it was what it was. But then I remember her coming back the next month and she had food and like a drink option. Yeah. And she sold out. I remember her at the end of the day, she was like, she was very happy and she did well for herself. And that's really cool to see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like all that stuff. 
Man, I can't wait. October 15th is coming soon. That's like uh, 13 days away. Yeah, it's close. 13 days. That's two weeks from now. And then um, I would say after that to uh, keep an eye out on St. Charles. Yeah, let's talk we'll about see that. How, we'll see what's up for the holidays. Lo, lo, I got big Lo-Bean plans. Studios, as I like to call it. Yeah, Lo-Bean I like studios. that. I like that. Yeah. So basically, um, the plan for St. Charles is uh, we're moving over to the unit next door, which is probably seven to 9,000 square feet. Yeah. And um, we're going to turn into a, a, a kind of like a... Um, you know, an indoor market, like, yeah. and, and I don't know, I don't know how to ex- describe it yet because I don't know. It's going to be really organic. I don't know in, how it's going to turn out. In my head, it, 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 it seems similar to an antique shop and how like you have different, yeah. different like sub businesses. We'll, in we'll there see. Doing Cause stuff. I mean, we'll see who I can get out there. So actually if anyone's listening and they want to be a yeah. part of this, I'm looking to get at least 15, if not maybe up to 30 vendors for an indoor market. Um, I need people to pop up at least two weekends a month, let's say, uh, if not more. Yeah. Chicago, Canada, and and the little bean shop will be in there yep. seven days a week. Right. So if any other vendors want to pop up any day of the week, but the plan is to really open it up big for the weekends. And that's probably how we'll open up at first. We'll probably yeah. only open that up on the sense. weekends until we kind of get up more traffic and a flow. And the thing is that, you know, hopefully with, the season changing everyone's looking for something to do yeah it gets cold out well it's like hey come on inside yeah i have this spot and it's very friendly yeah i mean like 420 friendly right so let's go inside and let's have some fun that uh is a great that's idea. great i, I, I love can't that. wait yeah uh the our our our, our uh, tangential plans are to have uh the podcast studio there as well so hopefully we yep. get that accomplished um i'm looking forward to that we're still creating content we got uh, we got some other people. Uh, we're gonna work with Roy and Eric. Oh yeah, good people. They're gonna do some yep. video stuff for us. So yeah, they're awesome. Yeah, it's it's gonna be cool. We're 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 keeping it alive over there. Yeah, I had somebody the other Keep day. The she was like, she walked up the door and she looked over. At us. She's like, "Can I get in?" And I was like, "No, they closed." Yeah, we're just smoking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So t- we are temporarily closed there because we gotta get this going here. Yeah. Don't have the manpower, the money, or the, right. just don't have that yeah. ability to make it all happen at once. That's a that's a weird spot right there for traffic. If if it's not, you know what I mean. Yeah. If you, if you can't have your full attention there, it's not. Yeah. 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 So just, yeah. So but we'll be back up at it. So look for us November December. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So hopefully November, but we'll see. Yeah. Well, you know, I definitely want to get a um the twelve days of dab miss going. Okay. Cool. That's yeah, very I got, nice. I got ideas still. Yeah, we'll work something out. We'll I'm have to a, I'm a collaborate weed on that. <laughs> so, Bob. What's up, man? Let's talk about your grand opening. Oh, uh, yeah. All Saturday. Right. Saturday? <laughs> Saturday. Um, the 14th? Yeah, we'll be okay. open at 12 o'clock p.m. 12 o'clock. And mm-hmm. uh, we'll definitely have food of sorts. Haven't okay. figured it out yet. I heard my homie from uh, Prairie Grass Selection is supposed to come out and be a taquero. Oh, okay. We'll see if that happens. We'll have to tag him in this. No, mommy. Calling you out, dog. Sounds good. <laughs> calling you out calling you out um and then uh from seven to nine i'm gonna do a, p- a party an after party okay cool um so i have to be closed up for the day community only uh it's yeah you got rsvp yeah. definitely shoot me a dm on instagram yeah yeah we don't have you know too much space up here right. but we're gonna be doing a costume party slash contest oh, if sweet. you want to participate you don't have to wear a costume but just you know to get into the spirit of halloween um costume party slash contest we'll have three winners and uh the winners will get a gift a nice gift that's awesome you yeah. always have uh every time i come and get uh you know shirts or stickers from bob's here, got the best I gifts just, i just couldn't be more <laughs> happy <good. laughs> Marky's like, yeah, with, all, with, with, with all the all the stuff you know what i mean so I like it's it, definitely gonna be a quality gift yeah. yeah yeah um that's what we're about man qc Hell quality yeah. control oh yeah yep. that's, and that's why i partnered that. with him i mean he was the right guy for sure yeah like Bob, like it's kind of weird how we first met. It was actually one of those Rochelle things. I don't know. <laughs> We're, I don't, let's just say we had to. Charlie and I communicate. Like we we worked well from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, Sometimes you know. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, but right right away, uh, you know, Bob's a little younger than me, and I, but I could I re- had a lot of respect for a young man who really had um. 
He's got the so, grind. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the grind. Yeah. I, I, I respect that about I him. I mean, uh, look, he probably doesn't have to be here as much as he does, but he's still, he is right now. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, so I, I respect a man who can show up every day, seven days a week, and, and that's what it takes to build a place, you know, to build something at you first. You have to, you have to, you can't, you can't have a business and not be there. Well, yeah. You, you can't know, have somebody else. It, it means a lot to him. Same yeah. with Marky. That's yeah. why, you know. Marky, so I know Marky love green his, culture, turning his lights on and off. Yeah, a lot of respect for by what hand. You, what you young men do, I got why a lot of respect. There. There. That's exactly why the quality's there. That's why you know. Yeah, I think it takes as much dedication and a grow as it does in any project to really, mm-hmm. you know, get the the quality, get the, the results that you need. So as much as you know, I dedicate myself to my brand or retail or whatever it may be, networking. Mm-hmm. Um, I think really to get the quality that you know consumers deserve you got to be just as dedicated as you grow and i'm appreciative yes of marky for you know producing things that uh, are of that quality yeah 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 um i think you know uh thank you bob cream rises to the top and uh everybody can have one good crop but when you continue to can uh have good crops um uh, that's something special you know what i mean yeah because really uh i mean uh, you're only good as, as good as your last crop, right? And that's why I get so excited whenever I see, like when when somebody brings me their their yeah. crop and it's like, if it's good, even if it's not good, if it's, you know, if they're, they're still learning and they're oh, excited yeah. for it, like I'm excited for them. It's yeah. genuine. Yeah, don't say that because like I, I grow a lot of bad weeds sometimes. <laughs> well, you know, you know better. <laughs> yeah. So like you'll tell somebody straight up like, eh. That one, yeah. didn't, that one didn't cut it. This ain't yeah. it. Yeah. This ain't it, homie. No, it's the it. excitement that, that, that you know they're going to go back at it next yeah, time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're not yeah. just going to call it quits. They're going to oh, go yeah. back. Yeah. And learning and just like, I don't know, just growth anywhere. Like, growth I've, anywhere. I've seen so many people that have grown within cannabis, the cannabis space, what, whatever it may be, and then they gain confidence personally from it. Yeah. Like they yeah. start walking with oh, their yeah. chest out or yeah. they start interacting a little bit more with people around them. And that's just really cool, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I, I, there's people I wish I could tell personal stories here, but I wouldn't do that to people. But there's a lot of people who have approached me from events and said, you know what? This this space has allowed me to come out like where I normally wouldn't. I always felt uncomfortable. And all of a sudden now I'm doing these things that I normally never would do. And um, that's pretty awesome. That's one thing I love about this community. It's kind of like, you know, I we all pull each other up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, rising tide raises all ships. If yep. you're interested in working with any of us, you should talk to us because we all want to work with awesome people and support the people who are doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If you want to voice yeah. your opinions. Yep. Yeah. Or just come smoke pot with us in the back. You'll find us. Yeah. You'll find the growers in the back. Uh, we'll just, look for the gl- just look for the jars and the, yeah. the Bob's exotic bags. Yeah, or, uh, exactly. Just follow your nose. Yeah, just yeah follow I was going to say, nose. you'll smell us. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're, we're past the vendors. <laughs> we talked about that last time. We have to, we have to remember to make uh, an actual uh, time to go and look at the vendors instead of just being with the other growers. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's hard to just take a whole walk in. But, it, I mean, they, they, have, they take their time to come yeah. out there and try to sell us their goods. It's good to shake their hands and there's a couple people that i know every time but i would like to know some more and that's the especially hard especially the food vendors that's the hard part about yeah. throwing these events it's like i, I i'm constantly walking around and i want to stop and talk to everyone yeah. and hang out and have a great time but it's like i gotta stay on the move i got i gotta go here i gotta go there yeah. i gotta go get this i gotta go do that um but it's a great time you know it's do you think time. you'll be able to enjoy this next one or are you gonna be free? you know i enjoy all of them um Six o'clock. I look forward dabs. to the day where it's big enough and we're kind of to the point where um, it becomes more self-efficient and I can, I can take a smaller role. Yeah. I can step back and take a smaller role and, and have more fun. Um, but I also think about that. And I'm like, geez, well, I don't know if I slow down. I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. Um, but, you know, yeah, it'll be nice when I get to that point where I can take a seat back and just let everyone else run the show and I can have more fun. But uh, I still enjoy myself. I enjoy every event. Sure. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad we enjoy every event. I've every yeah, event I've ever every been single to. one. Good. I've been to every single one. Then I'm doing my job. I always say come out. Yeah. You have to come out and yeah, enjoy the community. Cool yeah. Got, um, a Spliff Society. Spliff Society. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. They're awesome. Can- they're cool food vendors. Cannabins. Uh who else? Uh Goat Genetics is usually Goat out Genetics. Here. Uh who's the other one from Flowerhead Genetics? Flowerhead. Flowerhead. 
Yeah, flower head genetics. No dibbles. Uh, no dibbles. Seed, uh, spellbound seed company. Uh, who else? Mike and the guys over at uh, Green Grow. Yeah, Mike. Oh and, yeah, Mike. Yep. Mike and the Green Grow guys. Jason, I think. Grow is, better Chicago. Yeah, grow better Chicago. Man, everybody's so cool. Timber Tools. Uh, there's the dude who does the custom tools for uh, Bob, which is really cool. What's his name again? Adaba Do Tools. Adaba Do Tools. Two point oh. Two point oh. That's awesome. Yeah, he does really great work. Yeah. The boys over at Brain Dead Beans. Brain yeah, Dead yep, Beans. yep. Uh, who else was I was trying to think? Oh, of? we got Marky this month. Yeah, we got Marky this month. We'll we'll have a table in the back behind everybody recording. I'm sure. Gosh, there's so many. I know. You think I could just name them all? You think off? you could just I, name them all? I, like, you all would the think cool people, Rochelle. But... She that's where if she was here. Yeah, obviously Aurora Cannabis Club. Um, all those people. There's so many cool people. You have to come out and just. Yeah, I, I go blank as soon as you put me on the spot. I'm like, damn it. Oh, same. All right. Well, that's uh, that's 32 minutes, boys. Wow. Do you time have, flies? Do you guys? Do either of you have anything you want to talk about? Is there anything that you need to say? No. Looking forward to doing this again. So let's do this more often. Yeah, October fifteenth, like six fifty North Peace Road, Unit E, DeKalb, Illinois. October fifteenth from noon to. When six. is it? Noon to six? Noon to six. Okay. That's the grand opening of uh, Bob's. I mean, actually, the grand opening is the day before. I'm sorry. Yeah. And so then, we'll be open for business that Saturday. That Saturday. That's when I'm hoping to be fully stocked. Okay. Um, Chicago Can is open. Yeah, now. Chicago Can is open now. We have and softly, and like the, softly opened. Yeah, yeah, softly open. But yeah, this is like the, the coming out party, the last, yeah, the yeah. last outdoor We're, run of the year. And yep. kind of, hey, come, come see us. Yep. And so. Uh, That's right. Dude. We uh, start doing grow classes this winter. Yeah, let's to my ecology classes. Let's do it. Yeah, I um, like it. I, I, you know, we can't thank you enough for uh, again enabling the community and just you know well, being all around cool and and cool to talk to and inviting other cool people in for other people to meet. Yep. You know, and what I'm saying? and I speak not just for myself. I'll speak for Rochelle, even though, uh, unfortunately she couldn't be here. But uh, we appreciate you guys letting us take this role and to be here. And to be a part of the community. And, and so it's pretty cool. We cool. appreciate it. Thank yeah. you back. Yeah. We all, everybody wants to be accepted, right? Yes. So. I appreciate the point. Yeah. I mean, I appreciate you guys too, as well. Definitely. But I, I feel like we're all working towards a common goal here. Yep. And we just want to see, we want to see it elevated to a point that uh, we know it should be at. I hope we get there one day. We're going to get there. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. You're going to keep doing what you're doing. Charlie, you're going to keep doing what you're doing. Love green culture, same deal. Deal. And we're going to keep you all the way around. Just talking on microphones and having fun. All right. You know what time it is now, right? Appreciate you. Yeah, smoke weed every day. Yeah, let's go. Peace. Let's get high. Yo, ding dong, we're done here, time to go.